TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from beautiful Delray Beach, uh, Florida. This is the 1 p.m. update. Currently, we have the Dow trading up 135 points. That's a half a percent to the upside. 27,272 is the print. The S&P is up uh, six tenths of a percent or close to six tenths of a percent. 17 points. 3017 is the print. NDX 100 up 62 points, eight tenths of a percent to the upside. 7950. Russell 2000 is flat, taking a little bit of a breather after a very strong uh, week out here. Uh, you've got the New York Stock Exchange up, the Wilshire's up. The trannies are the only indice to the downside. Off a quarter of a percent, that's uh, 26 points. 10,734 is the print there. Spot volatility index is off 47 cents. It's trading at 14.14. Still has that downside target, that potential downside target in the 13 and change area. Gold is up uh, two bucks, trading out at 15.05. And silver is off three pennies. Light sweet crude down 81 cents out there. So let's go take a look at these markets. Very, very interesting out there. We take a look at the Dow. And uh, if you and I back here on the trading day, let's get the trading day out here. If on the trading day of uh, August the 16th, the reason that you and I choose the day of August 16th is that was the confirmation of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern. Very similar to the uh, Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom or topping pattern that uh, had formed on July 23rd. But here you have that Three River Morning Star bullish reversal candle. And if you and I would have identified a target at that stage, where is price going to head to? We both would have said 27,281.65. And we're trading right now at 27,281 and 14 pennies out there. So that level was hit, it was actually hit intraday. This is where the breakdown began inside of the Dow. This is also the day following, this is day 10, if you will, it's really the day following day nine, both the same thing, but of the TD set up nine count. So if a top is going to form, and I don't know what's going to cause that move lower, we are here right now. With price being up to resistance, with today being the high or the day following bar nine, of course, if tomorrow is a higher high, and you can just watch the futures trade overnight or early in the morning, this pattern will have failed, and it will tell you about momentum to the upside. Steve Rhodes here at TFNN. Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned for the next hour. Actually, stay tuned for the rest of the day. But if you're off, have a terrific Thursday, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.